Yeah, he's terrifying. He is going to strip reproductive rights. He is going to weaponize the federal government. He is going to take power. He is going to put the world at risk by pulling it out of alliances. But I think when you have these big things, and I would argue it's with climate change and homelessness, if it's an aspirational or a big thing that becomes too scary, people don't know what they can personally do about it. And it gives mm -hmm. him a power that he doesn't deserve. This guy's done nothing. He's accomplished nothing. He's never served in the military. He's never been successful at business. It's all, a, he comes out there and, you know, says, oh, I send the National Guard. Everyone knows that wasn't true in Minneapolis. We watched uh, George Floyd die on the streets and it was, it was a tough time. He's tweeting from his bunker to shoot people. That's not leadership. That doesn't, that doesn't solve anything. So I think you take that away from him by, by, stating the obvious and people are doing that you wouldn't hang around this guy it's just too weird but then we just turn pivot back to it you know what we can do is we can lead the world in renewable energy we can create new jobs and and young people are like what are you old folks going to do are you going to leave us something that we can work with and that's why i'm glad they're coming out and lifting us up and and look we need to get the handed off to them but we need to give them something to do uh something that's worth it and and i think this guy i watch him now he's spooked he's worried about this they're starting to come back now we're talking now they're oh they're mean to us these, these democrats are mean you know because they're calling us weird i saw i think it was hillary clinton said well then stop being weird and we won't call you that that's <laughs> the point here